What's up, my YouTubian trained freaks? As the great Aussie man says, here's me face. Been a bit dormant the last uh, six months or so. Uh, my other expensive hobby is uh, racing, and uh, I enjoy road course and hill climbs. So that takes up a majority of my time, the warm weather months here in the south, which one could argue that we ever really get that cold. But March to September, I'm normally pretty busy in my free time with that. So the train hobby takes the back seat. But we're getting wrapped up the racing season. So here we are. I've gotten the layout back out. Normally, uh, it sits here against the wall and I broke it down into two sections. So more or less have it back together complete. I still have to put the cold tipple back in and as well the round table, but we'll get to that. Um, but also the other big goals is for this winter season, I would say the goals itself is to start on the uh, landscaping um, and some of that detail work and as well finish the mechanism up top here to be able to lift this table up. As you can see, my garage, again, with racing, I use it quite a bit. I actually have uh, my other project car here on the lift right now to get it out of the way for the layout. Um, but I need that storage space. So that's a big goal. As you can see over the summer, I, I did uh, eliminate the center drive here for the garage door. So I have all this space open now to do that. Um, so should be putting out some more videos and content uh, for all my wonderful 50 followers. But um, I did kick off the new quote-unquote train season today uh, with a trip down to Lexi Station, so that was pretty epic. I uh, picked up my pre-order uh, for Eric's Train's custom run for the Fantasy Paint Scheme. Turned out really cool. And they actually had a few other items show up. Uh, one was a horse car that I ordered the, back from the uh, 2022 uh, first release of the catalog for Lionel. And surprisingly... Um, they uh, had two of the Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western Railroad cars come in, but not the locomotives and not all of the passenger cars. So I may show a quick preview of that. So let's check out some of that real quick. All right, guys. So as I said, headed out to Legacy Station, which is just north of Atlanta, Georgia today. And uh, I actually got to meet Eric Siegel, which was pretty awesome. He's a super nice dude. Um, in person, and, and he shows that on his YouTube channel as well. Don't mind uh, the wonderful Kiana. What you doing, babe? <laughs> anyway, uh, so went down to not only check it out, because I always hear about it in the videos, but also pick up a few items. They actually had two things here that I didn't even expect uh, that came in along with this shipment, which I'd already pre-ordered from them. But the uh, main piece here was Eric's custom run um, locomotive that he did in his fantasy paint scheme, which I, I, I love those. Uh, it's really creative. I know some purists are not crazy about it, but I mean, the whole point of his hobby is to be a kid and have fun. So I absolutely love it. Uh, but here's the outer box. You can see it is a legacy. It's the ES44AC. And you can watch his channel. He talks a little bit about this from his video back in February, why he chose this locomotive. And I'm not going to do a review or really unboxing anything like that. I will have it out here in a little bit, uh, showing off some of the other stuff. Really just one thing. Some, the last box is kind of incomplete, and I'll tell you about it in a second. But uh, that's his custom deal. That's his locomotive. And I know he's not too concerned about my whole 50 followers right now, but um, I'm going to leave that to him. He obviously is the expert at reviewing these and um, for sure with him having that it's pretty awesome um, obviously bought one to help support his channel and uh, i think it's a pretty cool paint scheme so check it out so we'll get that out of the way the next was the vision line horse car that came out uh, this was in the early 2022 catalog originally wasn't going to get one but the more i kind of thought about it and looked at the catalog ended up deciding to get it and we're going to actually unbox this one today and check out some of the sounds and whatnot. And it's pretty cool history on that. Last one is part of the Aberdeen and Western Carolina, Aberdeen, Carolina, Western uh, Railway set. But it's just two of the cars. So not really going to unbox them because I really want to wait on the set for this. But give you kind of a sneak peek of these. 
and I don't think it came out too terribly bad. I think the actual paint scheme and maybe just a touch lighter, but otherwise I think it's going to be a really cool set once it comes out. Because obviously not too many railroads these days are doing sort of bright and flashy colors. So it's kind of wild worded. I thought it was pretty awesome. So I'm going to leave that until I get the complete set and then we'll bring it out, line it up here on the layout and uh, check out some of the features. So let's uh, unbox this horse car and check it out. This is the uh, Southern Pacific version. They have quite a few different ones. You can check out the catalogs and kind of see what they have out. Uh, more than likely, there's going to be a lot of extra ones out there. This one I did pre-order. And originally, I had actually chosen a different road name, but actually, kind of thinking it over, actually called and got a different one. Um, I ended up going with the uh, Southern Pacific. And the reason being is this sort of darker green with gold lettering, I think is going to go really well with the Southern Railway cars I already have. Um, so that's so why I kind of went with this paint scheme for my particular set, although it doesn't really have to go with a specific road number or paint scheme because one cool thing about these that uh, was discussed on one of the podcasts I listened to for Matt and Matt O scale podcast was the horse cars generally, the, the horses are almost treated better than the people in the trains. The horse car would stay with the consist even if it changed uh, road names, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so if it was going from, say, California all the way to Kentucky, if it was a Southern Pacific, it would actually go and change along with the different uh, road names and railroads along the way. They wouldn't transfer the horses themselves into that particular railway's own cars, which is pretty neat. Um, so uh, there's a lot of history behind these, and so it wasn't uh, unheard of to see different road names and color schemes with other trains. So if you did have a Louisville and Kentucky, for example, and it was all blue and it was with something that was, a, you know, for the Southern Railway, for example, it wouldn't be really that, you know, out of the ordinary, it seems. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull this out of the box and hopefully let you guys have a better look at it. So this is a Vision Line car, so it has uh, sounds and it has uh, various uh, sequences that it plays. So we look here at the the side of the box and I'll try to see if I can get it here in view. Uh, but essentially it plays the freight sounds both in motion and multiple loading and unloading sequences. It stops, it does have die cast trucks, kinematic couplers for close, close coupling on straightaways and wider coupling on curves, LED lighting with the capacitor for flicker free performance, separately applied details on her side and body and the scale coupler mounting pad. So um, definitely is a long car for sure. So definitely go well with some of the Southern Railway cars that I have, super long ones. So here's the scale couplers, the mounting pads, and some instructions. But this is a hefty car for sure. It definitely has some weight to it. So there it is, sort of a army military green almost like an olive drab so i don't think the doors open doesn't seem but you look at the trucks looks pretty nice oh it does look like the exterior doors do or in the doors i should say open so we have a light switch and looks like we have run program, of course, and min max for volume, it seems. One pickup per truck. Cool. So let's check out and see sort of what this looks like on the track under power and see if we can get it to play some sounds. All right, so let's check out some of the features here of the car. Uh, so first off, we have the lights off, so we can obviously turn those on. All right. So there's three unload sequences when the car is stationary. So let's listen to the first one. Okay, let's get these horses loaded up. Make sure those water tanks are full. All right, that's great, but that's enough horse hockey for now. <laughs> Number two. Get them ready, line them up. Get it up. Next stop, 
stop us from feeding and watering. We gotta walk them a bit too. Then number three. We're ready. Give them the go. All right, ease her in. Grab some of that grain for them. We're hauling oats. One unloading. All right, open up the gate and let's get those fillies unloaded. All right. Make sure you spray off those ramps too. That's how we do it. Pretty neat, not too bad. We also have a, uh, with the uh, bell horn slaughter, you can quill the horses and depending on where you slot them at, you get different sounds. Pretty neat. And then we have a coupler sound, which is neat. So I don't believe this has electric couplers, but uh, at least you get that sound with it in case you're doing some other stuff with the uh, train. Next, you have a special sound, which I really like. This is really cool. Really gets you ready for Kentucky Derby. We have the uh, high metallic air release sound. And also with the train brake, you get some variable sounds there. So I'm sure that's uh, more active once you have a train in motion. So overall pretty cool. And of course, in motion, we do get the various sounds. Some of that nice wheel squeal and some of the clanks in it. You also have the ability with this one, uh, just like some of the other rail sound cars, you can turn on the uh, flat spot. So it does have that as well. Um, and you have the ability to turn on and off different clattering and the curve uh, grind sound. So if that gets to be a little much on the layout, you can turn some of that off. And earlier as well, I know it, depending on the speed, and you do get that little bit of a horse every so often <laughs> pretty awesome overall i'm pretty happy with it i think it's a really nice looking car to look good behind the southern uh or in front of the southern passenger cars i have and definitely adds a lot of dynamic to that uh, set once it's running around the layout and giving some of these cool sounds so pretty neat <laughs> guys that's it hope you enjoyed the video it's a rail car definitely an a plus in my book really enjoy it the locomotive for eric's trains here came out beautiful again let him do the review and all that good stuff you guys can check it out on his channel eric's trains on youtube but definitely came out really well there's a lot of great detail on the engine the paint came out great i think that the matte red uh, definitely is the way to go, and I'm happy it wasn't too glossy. So, hope you guys enjoyed. There'll be some content coming out for the uh, winter. We'll get some scenery here, build some new trains, and check you out next time. Bye.